Entertaining your dog may be a challenge for you. Finding new ways to keep dogs busy is sometimes difficult, so in this video we try to introduce interesting and practical ideas to you. When a dog is upset and its energy is not discharged in a healthy way, it can become troublesome. Since we are the only source of entertainment for our dog, if we are not able to do this, he will look for entertainment himself, and sometimes destructive behaviors such as chewing household items may occur. If you spend time with the dog and learn new ways to play and have fun with the dog, you will surely prevent the dog's abnormal behavior such as barking and chewing equipment. One way to entertain your dog is to play games, such as fetch games. Games that deal with a dog's sense of smell are an easy and efficient way to release a dog's energy. When you teach your dog to use his sense of smell, you are actually helping to develop his innate talent and entertaining him at the same time. You can do this in his presence by placing his favorite pieces of food in different parts of the house and encouraging him to find them by saying, encourage Rupita. Remember to reward your dog every time he finds the treat. When you are sure that your dog has learned the concept of the game, you can challenge the dog by making it a little harder. This time, put it in another room and hide the food in different parts of another room and start the game by bringing it to that room. Cold weather and short days make us humans and our pets a little lazy in winter. However, physical and mental health is more important to us than anything else in winter. There are plenty of fun activities for dogs to burn off their energy, but going out in the winter is always one of the hardest. The second game that I am going to introduce to you is Shell Game. This game is a simple puzzle method for dogs. You can play this game with the help of three cups and placing an incentive under one of them. Ask your dog to find a reward by moving the glass. This game strengthens the ability to solve problems in your dog and increases the self-confidence of the dog. Don't forget that sometimes simple games can be more enjoyable than outdoor games and running in the park and make the bond between you and your beloved puppy more intimate. The third method of entertainment is learning to collect toys. First, you need to choose a special place like a box to put your dog's toys. It may seem strange to teach a dog to collect things, but it is a lot of fun. Always remember that teaching your dog new skills will increase your dog's self-confidence and significantly improve its quality of life. On average, a dog needs 30 to 60 minutes of exercise per day. However, the amount of daily exercise may vary significantly depending on the dog's breed, age, and health status. For some lazy breeds like French Bulldogs and Bull Mastiffs, a slow 30-minute walk is enough, while more active dogs, like Dalmatians, may need more than an hour of vigorous exercise a day. However, even the laziest dog needs exercise, so try to give your furry friend at least half an hour of exercise a day. You need to be aware of the training characteristics of your dog breed. Some dogs, like the Husky, are like marathon runners and can do longer exercise sessions, while others, like the Jack Russell Terrier, are sprinters, so their training should be intense rather than long and monotonous. Puppies are usually much more energetic than adult dogs of the same breed. However, since their bodies are still developing, several short games are better than one long practice. Another suitable game for your pet dog at home or in your backyard is Tug of War. This game is very simple and at the same time drains your dog's energy easily. Just get the right toy and enjoy an interesting game with your dog. Contrary to popular belief, Tug of War does not make your dog aggressive, and allowing the dog to win does not make it dominant. This game is pleasant and lovable for dogs, and playing with its owner increases the dog's command. Just follow a few simple rules. The game ends when you want or when the dog bites your hand, and in this way you have taught the dog the right behavior while entertaining the dog. For those times when you don't feel like playing with your puppy and your work is behind schedule, you can have extra time for an hour by teaching your dog to do daily tasks. Dogs love to have something to do, even if it's fetching your slippers. You can make your dog feel useful by teaching them the names of certain items and asking them to fetch them. For example, you can impress your friends by teaching your dog to bring a bottle of mineral water from the refrigerator. 
Just tie a towel to the refrigerator door and teach him how to use it to open the refrigerator door and bring you the bottle. Remember to be patient and always encourage your dog to learn the skill. There are many games that can make the dog excited. At the same time, these games can be delicious. What is better than that your dog is active, plays his daily game and finally gets food? This game can be a game to strengthen your dog's sense of smell. Put your dog in one room and hide the food in another room and ask your dog to find it. Of course, for the beginning of the game, you need to guide him or reveal the food so that he understands the rules and process of the game. Now I want you to like this video and join me to continue this video. One of the easy and easy games that I recommend to you is the game of bridge or pooch. This game also entertains the dog by using its sense of smell. To teach this game to your dog, it is enough to hold a reward in your hand and ask him to choose the desired hand by smelling it. With this game, in addition to keeping your dog busy, you will also increase his mental capacity. Mud or pooch is a great mental exercise for dogs. Place a treat in one of your hands. Clench your fists and show both hands to the dog. Let the dog choose which hand has the food by smelling the fists. If your puppy chooses the right hand, reward him. If not, try again. Another game that I want to introduce to you is the game of jumping over obstacles. No matter how big the house is, by placing small obstacles like a towel, you can teach your dog to jump and provide him with activity along with movement. Over time, you can add more or higher obstacles and challenge your dog. In conclusion, it should be noted that playing with a dog is not only a hobby, but at the same time it will teach new skills, help to use mental power, be active and strengthen the relationship between you and him, and it will lead your dog to a healthy and spiritual life. Be healthy as well. Finally, thank you for watching our video till the end. I would be happy to comment on your experience playing with your pet dog and spending time with it.